who we are in the dark uh, emerged as an idea in the wake of a duet project with Sarah Neufeld. I had been commissioned by a big dance festival to create a solo for myself and I, I wanted to seek out a brand new collaborator and I knew Sarah's work both on her own and through the band Arcade Fire and we did a performance piece together and we loved working together and we decided um, before we'd even done our second show that we were going to make a big piece. Sarah Neufeld um, was my initial um, musical collaborator for this project, but we knew that we wanted a second musician, and we chose uh, drums as a beautiful counterpoint to the violin, and so we're working with uh, Jeremy Guerra, who's Sarah's bandmate from Arcade Fire. The main theme for this work is darkness. So, night, intimacy, sexuality, the unknown, blindness, bafflement, mystery, treachery, a whole, the whole host of illusions that um, move around the idea of darkness. When I learned that this project had gained funding from the National Art Center's Creation Fund, I, first of all, I was completely flabbergasted. Um, like all of my colleagues in the dance world, we're all needing to bring resources uh, around whatever project it is that we, we need to do. Um, there's a huge amount of competition for that money and so basically I was just um, surprised and, and deeply relieved also. This funding is being directed toward a theater residency. So we're renting a theater for an entire week and we're moving in with all of the design team, all of the performers, uh, a full technical crew and we're mounting this entire show. Um, it gives us a chance to really, really fine-tune all the design elements, understand how it is that we um, set up this show, how we run it, and how we pack it up to take it on the road. And we're so excited to be bringing this work to the National Arts Centre in April.